What up people, it's your boy Chig from Guna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time it's to talk about um, Arsene Wenger's last game. That's right, we're playing Burnley at home. It's our third to last game and uh, finally Wenger's going. Uh, and that's the only encouragement, the only meaningful impact of this game is that we are three games away. Three games away. From this man leaving and having some hope reinstalled into this club. Um, there's not really a lot to say about Thursday. Not a lot of my opinion has changed. I think you can make a case out of getting rid of a, uh, most of these motherfuckers. I think the only argument that people are using to defend this cause is, uh, oh, well, a new manager would get a lot out of his players. And yet, yeah, in some of those cases, you are absolutely right. But short of Jesus Christ appearing, not a lot of managers are going to be able to improve a lot of these players. This is what people are missing. Maybe they just simply aren't good enough. Um, and, and I think that does apply in a lot of cases that people are in complete denial about. Um, like Mustafi, people keep saying to me in the comments in particular that Mustafi would improve under a new manager. No, he won't. He was shit at Valencia. He was shit here. People people are getting it twisted because Ben has sanctioned a £35 million move um, that he must be a good player. No. Maybe he's just a shit player. Maybe Wenger just bought stupidly because Wenger's never been able to buy a decent defender that actually costs money. And pe before people uh, tell me Koscielny, yes, I know it was sad what happened to him. Has Koscielny been that good over the years? I think he's been a good defender at best. But when people are talking about... Oh, when I'm talk, what I'm talking about is very, very good. A, a defender who can lead from the back, who reads the game, who can lead that defence. Koscielny has never been that. I'm sorry, he has never been that. Anyway, I digress. Going back to the game. This is Arsene Wenger's last home match. <sighs> Lord knows how to fuck it's come to this. But we are actually in a battle to hold on to sixth place. I mean, fuck me. When, when Man United were in this position last year, at least they were comfortably sixth. We ain't even that. We're, hold, we're trying to hold on to the very people we're playing Burnley. We're trying to hold them off for sixth place. Because if we finish seventh, that means our season starts from July. Which would be bad in any year. Definitely not a World Cup year. No one wants to be doing that shit. So, to me, it is imperative, imperative that we hold on to sixth. That being said, um, the fact that those words are even coming out of my mouth breaks my heart. And it just, it further compounds to me the failure of Thursday. Um, I, I'm hoping... I'm praying that the delay in announcing Arsene Wenger's replacement is merely a formality. It's merely out of respect, first and foremost, for the for Wenger's uh, for the uh, sorry respect for the players and making sure that they keep their eye on the prize to the end of the season. The prize of sixth place. I know uh, that. Secondly, it's out of respect for Wenger and that they just don't want the team or Wenger to be they don't want their the attention to be on the new manager they want the attention to be on the players and that's it there doesn't want to be any kind of distractions away from that and third and for, foremost it is out of respect for Atletico Madrid or Juventus so we we know what Chig wants <laughs> straight off the bat. We know what we know what Chig wants. Um, Diego Simeone or Max Allegri, please. And I would have either of them. I know people have had debates with me about what well, you would have Simeone. Well, let me fucking check. They're in a European final and we ain't. Fuck yeah, I'd have you, uh, Simeone. There's been too much importance of the way we play football to me. Yes, identity is important. And I agree, it can be a draw. But you know what is a bigger draw for people? Winning. We're not good at that. That's one thing we're not good at. 
So to me, I'd rather try something that we ain't good at. I'd rather improve on something we ain't good at. So you're damn fucking right, Simeone is my first choice. Short of that, Max Allegri would have, I think, the perfect balance between the two. Um, I think one of those two names would command respect with those Arsenal players, and I think it's going to take a big character. So that's why I'm always a bit downhearted when I start hearing names like Liverpool's assistant fucking coach, or, 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 you know. I mean, you can make a stronger case for Patrick Vieira or Thierry Henry. At least these motherfuckers are names in the game. Who the fuck is this geezer? So no thank you. For me, it's Max Allegri or it's... Um, you know what? I'll even take Enrique. I, I'm I'm reluctant with that idea. But to be honest, I'd take him if it's a choice between him and either the Liverpool assistant coach or um, Patrick Vieira, Thierry Henry, to be honest. Um, one thing I will say for him, he's at least a Champions League winning t- uh, manager. He has won the biggest prize. He will command that respect. And that's what I want going forward. Um, to me, I'll, I'll do plenty of videos over the summer about who I think we should get rid of. I still owe you guys one video about uh, the managers who are favourite and who I'd like to see come in. I'm going to see if I can get that up and running uh, for tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. Um, in the meantime, uh, let me crack on. And just talk about my hopeful 1-11 to that I'd like to see in this game. Uh, for me, start... I need to stop saying for me. It's really pissing me off. Uh, Petr Cech starts in goal. Um, why not start him in goal? Hector Bellerin, I don't give a fuck if you're tired, bruv. You're starting. Because fuck me, you're, you're starting. Unfortunately, we have no other right backs. So you're starting. In centre-back, it is sad what happened to Kashani. It looks like his career is is on life support. As as Not him, to be clear. His career is on life support because of his injury is so bad. He's been nursing an Achilles injury for the last three, four years. It pretty much exploded on Thursday. I doubt we'll see him in an Arsenal shirt again, if, to be honest. Um, so with that being said, who would be the two centre-backs? I'd take Mustafi's punk ass out. Um, I'd pay uh, Mavropanos. I thought he was excellent against United. And if it wasn't for Enzo Maitland-Niles, he'd have been man in the match for me. I thought he did that well. So let's see him play. And it's probably a straight shot between Rob Holding and Chambers. Uh, I, uh, Chambers, I think, is starting to show everybody that maybe, just maybe, he has a little bit of an Arsenal future. I have said that for a long time. I'm just saying... Um, even although I must admit, even I wrote him off uh, towards the end of this season. Um, but I'm glad for him and I'm happy for him. Having said that, let's let's see Rob celebrate his new signed contract. He signed a new five-year contract, I believe. So he's staying with the club. So probably butchered that. Maybe it's just sign an extension. You guys let me know in the comments below. Um, but Rob Holding for me will start alongside Mavropanos. Um, could be a glimpse into our future, so let's see what they can do together. Uh, left back, I play Kolasinac because this kid is not getting enough games. Um, I think he'll be relieved that Ben is going. That'd be one player very relieved that he's going because he's just not getting games at the moment. Um, this guy was uh, the Bundesliga best left back at one point. I don't know what the fuck is happening. So let's see him play and let's see what he could do. Uh, in the central midfield, um, to me, I would like to see uh, Ezi make the Nars play, first and foremost. Um, I actually thought he did pretty well, um, and I'd like to see him pretty well. He's man in the match against United, and deservedly so, was everywhere. Go figure, you play a player in their right position, they actually play well. So Ezi make the Nars plays for me. Uh, next to him, I'd like to see... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, here, El back in training. I wouldn't put El Nene for this. Just thinking. Just debating. I'm going to play Jack in this. Um, I think Jack needs a lot of game time. And I think 
we need to be sure whether or not to let go of him. To me, if it was up to me, I wouldn't renew his contract. I don't think he's good enough. I'm sorry, Arsenal fans. For me, sentiment must not rule this club. I always say that on this channel. And he's not good enough. But to be sure, play him in this game. Let's see if he could save what is left of his Arsenal career. Um, so now I'm going three as my attacking midfielders. So Mesut Ozil, none of this cold shit. You're playing, brother. Three hundred fucking fifty thousand pound a week. You're playing. Number ten. Um, on the left hand side, I play Alex Awobi. I know you guys hate me for saying that, but um, I'd give him some game time. I'd be looking to loan him in the summer. Uh, he's never had a loan. I think that is part of the problem. I'd like to see him go to somewhere like a Burnley or a Newcastle. I think Sean Dyche and Rafa Benitez would improve that side of his game. And really just... He just needs that life experience away from Arsenal. Um, but to me, I'd start him on that left-hand side and give us a little bit of creativity and hopefully some width. But I know he likes cutting inside, so I don't even know how I said that. Um, on the right-hand side, I start Mkhitaryan with the view of giving him an hour. And then maybe bring in on someone like Reese Nelson afterwards. Um, let's see with Mickey. I, I'm I'm yet to be all the way convinced, I must admit. Um, but let's see. Mkhitaryan on the right-hand side. And then up top, Aubameyang. I think he's done very well since he's come into, into the team since January. Um, I'd love us to get more service to him. One of the main reasons I want us to get a winner is for him. Because I do believe he needs that service. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, Abamian starts this. I rest uh, Lacazette, maybe with a, a view of bringing him on towards the end of the game. Um, don't even really know why. I actually think we'll win this 2-1. No base of evidence. I have no really evidence of why I would even think that. Other than... Because the players don't play for Venner, let's be real. So it's not going to be because it's Venger's last game. The one thing I'll say is at home, we are exceptional. And that's the only reason, to be honest. So um, anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Are you excited because it's Venger's last day? Are you going to participate in the celebrations and the well wishes and this, that and the other? You let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, absolutely crush that like button destroy it ddt the shit out of it i appreciate it every time you guys do that also if you're a first time listener hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell um i'm going to see if i could do a live video tomorrow uh see if ola and leah are available and they fancy jumping on and doing something um talking about probably thursday's exit uh but you guys let me know if you want to see that Again, leave that in the comments below. Alright, people, I'm out of here. Take care.